Howdy Partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm just going to do a kind of quick reference guide um, to switches and the switches that I use. I had loads and loads of guys asking uh, about opening and closing the secret stair circuit from the inside and from the outside. So I'll show you how to do that and obviously it kind of applies across the board to all sorts of other stuff, doors um, and other circuits. So I'm going to show you how to do T flip flops, XOR gates and just a quick bit on bud switches although I've already done a tutorial on these two um, I'm just going to show you some extra bits including this really compact e flip flop which is I think the smallest in the game at the moment don't hold me to that though um, this is the one I've been using and it's absolutely great and then I'm going to show you this XOR gate which I'm pretty sure is the smallest in the game um, I've definitely not seen anything smaller uh, and if you have of course hit me up because I'm always interested um, to find something better so Cool. Hokkai. Um, so let me just explain what an XOR gate does and uh, why we use it. The idea behind it is if your inputs are not equal, you will have an output. And if they are equal, you won't have an output. So if I make these two unequal by putting that one down, as we can see, we've now got an output. But then if I make them equal again, we've got no output whatsoever and then vice versa. So they're not equal there, and we've got an output, and they're equal there, and we've got no output. Uh, so if I quickly explain how this works, currently in this setup, I think this is the smallest XOR gate in the game at the moment. I Don't hold me to that, but it's pretty compact, so it's the one I use anyway. Um, what we've got is, if this is off, it powers this, which is essentially a not gate, which pushes this piston out, and we can't get any power here, because this has not been pulled down. Uh, but if we do pull this down, it powers this repeater, which then goes through the block into the redstone and opens our door. So that's them being uh, not equal and therefore an output. But if we turn that off, as you can see, this is now turned off and we've got no output. Now, if we do it the other way around, where we retract that, like that, we output. And because it goes through a not gate, it pulls the piston back in and it gets powered here by this repeater, which powers the dust, goes into the door. So it's just all to do with... Um, having equal or not inputs basically that's how that works and we use that specifically to open and close doors uh, most commonly anyway to open and close doors from the outside and inside at the same time so I'll give you a quick demonstration of how you'd use that for the stairs open up like that and then we change the balance and it closes and then we can open it back up like that Cool, so now I'll show you how to build it quickly. Right, so I'm specifically going to use the stair circuit um, to show you guys this. And I pretty much do it from here. Uh, this is where I build the circuit, so I take the power from the side. Like that. Um, and we start with a piston, with a block in front of the piston. And then we have two repeaters going in like that. Block there, block there. Torch on the side of this block. And then a torch on the front of that block there. And that is it. That's that's the XOR gate done. So it's pretty damn simple. Um, the last thing you've got to do, obviously, is just wire in the buttons. Um, and you're going to take it from the inside somewhere. Obviously, this is totally subjective because everybody's build is going to be different. You might want the switch in a different place. But in this example, it's here. So we've got an output coming around here like this. And then all you're going to do is feed it straight into that block there uh, which is our first input side and then this is going to be our button for the outside or lever for the outside rather um, which is wired up however you want basically and it will do the same job so it's now open and we can close it from the outside and we can hop in and close it from the inside so that's how we do XOR gates now the old T flip flop, old faithful. Um, I've already done a tutorial on how to build these and how they kind of work and stuff like that. This one I didn't show you how to build, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. And actually, I use this one as my kind of standard T flip flop now. It's extremely compact. I think, again, it's probably just about the smallest in the game. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely great. Uh, so, all a T flip flop does is just allow you to toggle a state on and off depending on. Uh, 
the input here. So if you put an input in, it'll toggle it off. And then again, it toggles it on. So it basically does what a lever does. But you can use a button or any other input. And that is very useful uh, later on. So in this case, obviously, it just allows us to use a button to open and close um, a door or any other circuit. So secret stair circuit, hidden doors, piston circuit, whatever you want. Um, this is great for that. So I'll show you how to install that now. Okay, so installing the T flip flop into our circuit uh, goes a bit like this, and this is how you build it. So two there, two there, make a sort of weird S shape. Um, and then you've got redstone dust there and a repeater there, and you put that onto three ticks. Um, actually, I'll make that blue because it's part of the circuit. So that's there, and then you want a torch on the side of this blue block and then a torch just in the ground next to the repeater like that. That's everything in the ground done. Then you put a piston there uh, with a block at the end of it like that. And then you put some redstone dust on top of that and then a block there and a torch like that. And that's your flip-flop done. Button there, that's our input block. Obviously it's just going to toggle the stairs like that. So that's that and now what you've got to do is hook up your sides of the circuit so this is outside that's inside over there um, you have to make sure that the repeater goes into this block because otherwise the redstone below isn't going to get power so if you're not using a button on the side here um, you need to use a repeater so that's just a heads up for you guys so if we leave this off to our inside button and then this is our outside button here like that so now if we press that, we get a toggle. So it opens from the outside and then if we run inside, put a button there, it closes up. So that's how you do a, a toggle flip-flop. And now I'm just going to show you very quickly how a bud switch would work and specifically one that is in the ground. I think there's only one circuit that does that and that's Etho's original circuit. So I'll show you that. Okay, um, so using bud switches um, is, you know, one of the best ways definitely of doing this because some guys actually flagged up saying with the secret stair um, video that the stairs aren't totally secret because obviously you've got to have a button or a lever to, to open the circuit. So that's a fair point. And uh, yeah, using a bud switch is pretty much the way of getting around that problem. Um, and as far as I'm aware, if you want to build it into the ground, so you've got a totally flat area here. Um, and no way of really seeing where the switch is, you have to do something like this. And then we've got a little toggle at the bottom here. Goes like that. So you have to use that, and you have to use Etho's original design, as far as I'm aware at the moment anyway. Uh, that's the only one I could work out to use uh, for this, but if there is another way of being able to put a bud switch in the ground without anything showing, then if you guys know, hit me up and I'll feature it at some point later on because that would be awesome if there is a way because this circuit is quite big. Um, so this is Etho's original circuit and I'm not going to show you how to build it. I'll just give you a link to his tutorial. Um, but yeah, the idea is when you update a block next to this water, it then floods in here and pushes this um, boat off of the pressure plate and then it um, gives you a redstone signal which opens your circuit. So, show you that very quickly. Like that. And our circuit opens and then vice versa. So that's just a heads up for you guys and the idea is obviously we just feed our bud switch into a flip flop here which is exactly the same as what we've just done a minute ago and then we've got a button on the inside comes around into the flip-flop so all you're doing is putting the bud switch circuit in front of the outside switch basically um, so yeah that's a heads up for you guys on that and like I say I'll give you links to the tutorial in the description annotations and all that and that's pretty much it for today I just thought I'd say thanks to uh, everyone that subscribed it's absolutely awesome that I got featured and I really appreciate it to the guys at Minecraft forums and yeah I really appreciate all the new guys that subscribed and all the old guys um, there's a lot more to come from me and um, yeah thanks for watching